Joe Biden held a virtual town hall featuring a very special guest. Take a look at the clip. I want to add my voice to the many who have endorsed you uh, to be our president. Just think of what a difference it would make right now if we had a president who not only listened to the science, put facts over fiction, but brought us together, showed the kind of compassion and caring that we need from our president and which Joe Biden has been exemplifying throughout his entire life. Think of what it would mean if we had a real president, not just somebody who plays one on TV, but somebody who gets up every morning worried about the people that he's responsible for leading during this crisis. So, Joy, how much uh, will a Hillary endorsement help Joe Biden's campaign? Um, I think it, I think it could help. I mean, it is it is late. I'm sure people are going to say it's a little late, but I think it'll help a lot. You know, the Democratic Party is completely united against Biden. Uh, I mean, against oh my God, against Trump, <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> Because, like she said in the intro there, well, it wouldn't it be great to have a real president instead of a reality show host? And I think that she can remind uh, everybody uh, and remind the Democrats to take a look at Michigan and Pennsylvania and don't overlook those states. She's kind of a reminder of that. I think that she is a polarizing figure in many ways. I was having Zooming with some friend of mine the other day who's a big, you know, Democrat, left of center. And he said, I just, I just can't stand her. And I said to him, you are... A sexist. To me, there is no reason, the only reason you don't like her, I said to him, is because she's female, because he agrees with all her policies. And I think that, um, I don't see that, that how that affects Biden, to tell you the truth. And, and the other thing is, right. um, well, uh, you know, I, I think that you need the women to vote, and, and they will, and they like her. She did win by three right. million votes, right. as I like to remind Megan every once in a while she turns on me, but I, I like to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so Maris poll shows that more people trust Biden to get the economy back on track, but uh, you don't think that tells the whole story, Megan? Yeah, first of all, I could never turn on joy ever. So let's get that straight. I just think that, you know, if you're not first, you're last. And what really matters uh, for better, or for worse, is the Electoral College. And as you just pointed out, Michigan, Pennsylvania are going to be integral as part of the Rust Belt, as will Wisconsin. And Hillary Clinton lost the last election. 80,000 votes in Wisconsin could have had your day in a much better place right now, Joy. So I think that is going to be the secret to 2020 right. as well. And look, the Rust Belt is the Ark of the Covenant. It is the only place Democrats should be concentrating on. And I do think it is once again going to be the key to the White House. And you don't have to believe me. You can just look at voters and you can just look at polls. This Maris poll that you were talking about will be, yes, uh, it is saying that uh, voters on the Democratic line are, have more faith in the economy when it comes to Joe Biden. But obviously it's split by party. Republicans have more faith in President Trump. And I think this is sort of a wait and see moment when it comes to the economy. As I said mm -hmm. yesterday, this is all going to rely on how the the COVID crisis plays out and just how grave and how vast the economic impact is. Um, Jared Kushner uh, this morning said that he thinks that the co economy will be up and booming by July. I think that is an absolute fantasy. July isn't that far away. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go to my doctor's office with my husband in July when I get a screening. Everyone knows I'm pregnant. So I think the idea that we're going to be up and booming and going to movies and going to concerts and things like that is just an utter fantasy. So I think it's all going to hinge on ultimately what happens with this COVID crisis. Right. And Sonny, you think the results in Ohio wasn't just good news for Biden, but for the election in general. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, when you start thinking about November, a lot of people are thinking, are we going to have this second wave of the coronavirus? Are we going to have this first wave uh, uh, under control? And, and when you look at Ohio, you know, the, the uh, election was done almost entirely by mail. And I think it's the first major test of statewide elections via mail during this outbreak. And it was very successful. So many people were worried that it wouldn't be successful. And so if this is the test, it, you know, Wisconsin was also a test. And you have people voting, and uh, there was such a big spike because of the in-person voting. They weren't able 
able to abide by the social distancing guidelines and people took their lives, uh, their lives were at risk. And so I think if this, because this was so successful, we now know that uh, mailing, uh, voting by mail can be successful in a general election. And I think that's good news for our country.